Good afternoon, guys. I'm back with another tutorial. Of course, these tutorials are usually for things that happen to me in life, and I feel like I should share them. A lot of times I find a bunch of videos online that are helpful, but it's usually for like an older model, or it was done like 10 years ago, and we need something a little more recent. Um, if you haven't already guessed by the title of this, <laughs> it's gonna be for uh, ghost clicking. If you didn't already see, uh, it already started on the right hand side of my screen. I'm having um, problems right here. If you can see it, it just keeps ghost clicking in that one spot and it's driving me absolutely bonkers because every time I try to open a web page, it opens up whatever is on this side of the screen. Um, so my mouse was over here, so I guess it touched it and made it right click. Let's see if it'll do it again. Nope, won't do it again. Um, found a couple of tutorials online. A lot of them were for Windows 7. Some of them were for Windows 10, but most of them were like, hey, if you have insurance or you have a warranty, you should send it back in. Um, I do everything on this laptop. I don't have time to send it back in. Uh, I sent it back in once before. Last year, this laptop, uh, the hardware inside just completely failed. It, it would not cut back on. Um, it wouldn't charge, I should say. There was something wrong with one of the ports. It was under warranty. They had it for like two weeks and finally sent it back. Um, I can't really go two weeks. So I went ahead and played around with it to see if I could fix it myself. And these were the results. As I've mentioned before, I'm on Windows 10. So we are going to go ahead and see if we can fix this. I'm trying to fix this live, see if it works. Um, I can give you guys a trick to use if you don't care about the touch screen at all, if you don't use it. I'm not a big user of it. Uh, every now and then I like to zoom in and zoom out and swipe across, but it's not something that's detrimental. So if you're one of those people and you just want to cut off, then I'll show you how to do that as well. So it's gonna be a little wonky because of course it's ghost clicking. So things are gonna fight with me for a while, but this will show you guys like, okay, she can do it, I can probably do it. Now I have a different computer that had ghost clicking, but it had ghost clicking from the screen being cracked. <clears throat> so the windows would just go crazy. So we're gonna open up device manager <laughs> if we can get it open. <laughs> You kind of have to have patience with this. If you are not a patient person and you're easily angered, find someone else to do it for you. Enter. So what I did is I typed in DE and then hurry up and hit enter so that it wouldn't go away. Um, we are going to be looking for the human interface devices, which is right here. And I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. All right. There we go. Let's bring it down some so y'all can see. Okay, if it cooperates. So we are looking for HD compliant touch screen. See, I have touchpad, touchscreen. If you have a touchscreen and it's doing the ghost clicking, this is what you're looking for. One of the first things that you need to check is that it's updated. So go ahead and click update driver. You're gonna search. And it tells me it's already installed. Okay, great, let's go to the next one. Make sure I didn't miss any important updates on Windows. And it's telling me, no, you didn't miss any updates. You're good to go. Okay, well, that didn't work. So this part is for people that don't care about the touch screen. If you want to completely turn off the touch screen, you're gonna come over here, you're gonna right click and you're gonna disable the device. Like I said, you gotta do it quick. <laughs> so then you say yes, boom. <laughs> and it's been disabled. And as you can see, the screen bounced. That means it refreshed. So now your settings have changed. I'm gonna refresh my screen just because I like to. We're gonna look over here and we're gonna see in this area if it's gonna do that ghosting. 
and I don't see anything. So you're good now. Touch screen is off and you can test it by doing this. So if you're fine with this portion of it and you just wanted the touch screen option off, you can stop right here. If you want your touch screen to work again, keep on watching and see if I can get it to work. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna see if this works. It was a trick somebody had said. I'm gonna close this out. So we're gonna come down to the power button. Mine says 98%. We're gonna go to power options. We're gonna come over here to choose what the power button does. And then you're gonna hit change settings that are currently unavailable. I'm actually gonna change a couple of things while I'm over here. And I was told that we need to turn this off. Turn on fast startup recommended. I actually wanted a hibernate option. Save your changes. And then restart the computer. And then we will see if that fixed anything. Now that I've changed my power button, it should shut down. <laughs> Hair is sticking up to little ponytail. I'm goofy, y'all. I'm sorry. Now, I have a feeling this is going to make your computer start up a little bit slower. Definitely started a little bit slower. <laughs> I normally don't have to shut down my computer, so if this doesn't bother you, you can leave it as is. Um, but we're definitely going to see if this little trick works. Hello. All right, so we know that it starts over here. And I'm watching. I don't see anything. Oh, we may have a winner, guys. We may have a winner for the fix. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to give it a few more minutes. Um, play around with it to see if it actually worked. And so far, so good. It's not doing the ghosting over here. And just to kind of show you guys again, what I did came down to where your battery is. Go to power options. Choose what the power button does. Change settings that are currently unavailable. And then you need to turn off. Turn on fast startup. I don't know why this works. Someone said somehow it's connected to the power um, and that most Lenovo's do this, HP's do this, anything with a touch screen, even tablets do this. This should work on all devices. And so far, it's, it's, not, it's not doing anything, guys. So I'm super excited right now. Um, you're seeing this live with me. <laughs> um, let me know if it works for you. Let me know if it didn't work. Let me know if you just decided to disable the whole thing. I just wanted to do a quick update. I let it sit here for about half an hour, 40 minutes, just to see. I've been messing with it. I've moved around. It's not there. I'm so excited. And if you guys see this little spot right here, that's not the spot. That's just part of this picture. It's like, a. I guess it was wet when they took the picture. 
um, but it would pop up like right here and you can see it in the beginning of the video if you need to go back and reference it. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that it's it wasn't a fluke for me. Hopefully it's not a fluke for you. Um, again, like I said, let me know if it works. I would love if you would subscribe and like this post if it worked for you. And let me know what else you guys want to see.